The F-22 Raptor is a game-changing fifth-generation stealth fighter that has revolutionized aerial combat. It's the first fighter aircraft to seamlessly combine stealth, supercruise capability, exceptional maneuverability, and advanced avionics for unmatched air superiority. But what makes the F-22 Raptor stand out as the most formidable combat aircraft in the sky? The story of the F-22 Raptor begins with the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program initiated by the United States Air Force in 1981. The goal was to create a new fighter aircraft capable of countering emerging threats, particularly from the Soviet Union. The need to replace aging aircraft like the F-15 Eagle and the F-16 Fighting Falcon was urgent. Codenamed Senior Sky, this initiative was driven by intelligence reports about new Soviet air defense systems. The Beriev A-50 Mainstay Airborne Early Warning and Control AEW&C aircraft and formidable adversaries like the Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker and the Mikoyan MiG-29 Fulcrum fighter aircraft. The ATF aimed to excel in both offensive and defensive air operations and take advantage of advancements in fighter design, including lightweight materials, advanced flight controls, powerful propulsion systems capable of supercruise, and cutting-edge stealth technology. In May 1981, the United States Air Force sent out a request for information about the ATF to various aerospace industry players and established a concept development team to oversee the program's development. This was a highly competitive endeavor with multiple contractors and numerous design proposals. In 1991, after rigorous flight tests and evaluations, the United States Air Force chose the Lockheed Martin Boeing Consortium and their YF-22 design as the winner of the ATF program. However, the path to developing the F-22 Raptor was far from smooth. The project faced technical challenges, required design changes, and had to navigate budget constraints during the turbulent decades of the 1990s and early 2000s. The F-22 Raptor has seen several upgrades to boost its ground attack abilities, air combat systems, and the reliability of its stealth features. It also underwent structural retrofit improvements to address airframe issues. Despite facing initial challenges, the F-22 has become a crucial asset in the USAF's tactical air power. Its exceptional stealth, aerodynamic performance, and advanced mission systems have set new standards for its generation. Expected to remain in service until at least the 2030s, the F-22 will eventually make way for the next-generation air dominance NGAD fighter. To enhance its capabilities, the F-22 Raptor underwent significant changes, such as redesigning its wings, enlarging its horizontal tails, adding thrust vectoring nozzles, and upgrading its avionics and software systems. However, it faced opposition and criticism from some politicians and analysts questioning its cost-effectiveness and relevance in the post-Cold War era. Nevertheless, the F-22 Raptor prevailed, receiving its official name, Raptor, in 1997 and achieving initial operational capability, IOC, status in 2005. This marked it as the cornerstone of the US Air Force's tactical air power and the world's first operational fifth-generation fighter. So what makes the F-22 Raptor stand out, giving it a significant advantage over other fighter aircraft? It comes down to four key attributes. Stealth, supercruise, maneuverability, and advanced avionics. The F-22 Raptor is carefully designed to be extremely difficult for enemy radar and sensors to detect. This is achieved through various factors, including its shape, materials, coatings, and emissions control. All of these reduce its radar cross-section, RCS, infrared signature, acoustic signature, and visual profile. The F-22 Raptor has an RCS of less than 0.0001 square meters, making it nearly as stealthy as a small metal marble. It also has an internal weapons bay that can hold up to six air-to-air -air missiles or two air-to-ground bombs without compromising its stealthiness. This level of stealth allows the F-22 Raptor to avoid detection and engage targets before they can react. 
F-22 Raptor has a unique ability called Super Cruise, which allows it to fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburners. This feature enables the F-22 to achieve higher speeds, cover longer distances, and operate more efficiently compared to fighters that rely on afterburners for speed boosts. With Super Cruise, the F-22 can reach speeds of up to 2,400 km per hour, providing it with a significant advantage in terms of range, endurance, and the element of surprise. F-22 Raptor is known for its exceptional agility, capable of performing extreme maneuvers that other fighter aircraft can't match. It uses thrust vectoring nozzles to direct engine thrust in different directions, enhancing its turning ability. The aircraft also has a large wing area, a high thrust-to-weight ratio, and an advanced flight control system that allows it to operate at high angles of attack while remaining stable. The F-22 Raptor can execute a wide range of maneuvers, including Pugachev's Cobra, J-turns, Herbst maneuvers, Kulbits, and more. This outstanding maneuverability positions the F-22 Raptor to outperform any adversary in aerial combat scenarios. Equipped with state-of-the-art avionics systems, the F-22 Raptor enjoys superior situational awareness and information control. Its integrated avionics system combines data from all onboard sensors and external inputs into a cohesive tactical picture. This significantly enhances the pilot's situational awareness while reducing workload. The aircraft's sensor suite includes an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, an infrared search and track, IRST, system, an electronic warfare, EW, system, and communication and navigation systems. These sensors collect, process, and share real-time data with the pilot and other friendly forces. Additionally, the F-22 Raptor features a helmet-mounted display HMD, that projects crucial information onto the pilot's visor. Serving as a flying sensor node, the F-22 can coordinate and direct other assets within the battle space. These advanced avionics provide the F-22 Raptor with a comprehensive and precise understanding of its environment, enabling it to respond effectively to any situation. The F-22 Raptor comes armed with an impressive array of weaponry, making it a versatile combat platform capable of engaging a wide range of targets effectively. For example, air missiles like the AIM-260 JATM Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, AIM-9 Sidewinder, and air-to-ground weapons like the AGM-88 Harm High-Speed Anti-Radiation Missile, the F-22 Raptor is equipped with a 20mm M61A2 Vulcan Cannon designed for close-range combat engagements. This comprehensive arsenal allows the F-22 to perform various mission roles, including air superiority, ground attack, electronic warfare and signals intelligence. Maintenance is a crucial aspect of ensuring the F-22 fleet's operational readiness. Each aircraft undergoes a three-week packed maintenance plan MPM, every 300 flight hours to address maintenance and upkeep requirements. The F-22 stealth coatings have been engineered to be more robust and weather-resistant compared to earlier stealth aircraft. However, there were initial challenges when F-22s were stationed in Guam in 2009 as the early coatings were vulnerable to rain and moisture. Efforts have since been made to develop more durable coatings to reduce maintenance demands. Depot maintenance for the F-22 takes place at the Ogden Air Logistics Complex at Hill AFB, Utah, with special attention given to the limited attrition reserve aircraft numbers due to the small fleet size. Over the years, efforts have been made to improve the F-22's operational availability and reduce maintenance hours per flight hour. In 2015, F-22s were available for missions about 63% of the time, a significant improvement from the 40% availability when the aircraft was first introduced in 2005. Maintenance hours per flight hour decreased from 30 early on to 10.5 by 2009, surpassing the requirement of 12. Meantime, between maintenance, MTBM also improved from 1.7 hours at introduction to 3.2 hours in 2012. 
However, during the early years of service, the F-22 pilots faced health issues related to the aircraft's oxygen system. These issues included symptoms like loss of consciousness, memory loss, emotional changes, neurological effects, respiratory problems, and a chronic cough. In response, the aircraft experienced a four-month grounding in 2011. Investigations revealed issues with the BRAG valve and the onboard oxygen generation system, OBOGS, which led to breathing restrictions and reduced oxygen levels during high-G maneuvers. Modifications and improvements were made to the life support equipment and oxygen system, eventually allowing flight restrictions to be lifted in April 2030. These ongoing efforts in maintenance, weapon systems and safety measures continue to ensure the F-22 Raptor remains a formidable asset in the US Air Force's arsenal, capable of meeting a wide range of mission requirements. The F-22 Raptor has indisputably proven its effectiveness in various scenarios and conflicts worldwide. Its participation in numerous exercises, operations and deployments has not only showcased its remarkable capabilities, but also served as a potent deterrent to potential adversaries. Here are some noteworthy examples. In Alaska, the F-22 Raptor engaged in its inaugural large-scale exercise. Facing simulated threats from over 40 aircraft, including F-15s, F-16s, F-A-18s, and AWACS, the F-22 achieved an astonishing kill ratio of 108 to 0. This feat signified that it had successfully downed 108 enemy aircraft without suffering a single loss. Moreover, the F-22 contributed invaluable data and support to friendly forces through its sense of fusion and communication capabilities. The F-22 made its first overseas deployment to Kodina Air Base in Japan. Participating in air sovereignty patrols over Japan and the Pacific region as part of Operation Noble Eagle. This operation, initiated after the 9-11 attacks, aimed to safeguard U.S. airspace and interests. Impressively, the F-22 flew over 700 sorties and maintained a mission-capable rate of over 97%, showcasing its readiness and reliability. The presence of the F-22 also acted as a deterrence against potential provocations from North Korea and China by patrolling near their borders and intercepting their aircraft. Deployed to Al Dafra Air Base in the United Arab Emirates, the F-22 undertook its inaugural combat mission. It conducted precision airstrikes against Islamic State IS targets in Syria and Iraq as part of Operation Inherent Resolve, a campaign aimed at defeating the terrorist group. Utilizing its strength and precision capabilities, the F-22 struck high-value targets, including command centers, training camps, oil refineries, and vehicles. Additionally, it played a crucial role by providing close air support and intelligence to other coalition forces through its advanced sensors and communication systems. The F-22 took part in a historic NATO exercise that involved flying over all 30 NATO member states in a single day. Collaborating with various US and NATO aircraft, such as B-52 bombers, F-15s, F-16s, F-35s, Typhoons, Rafales, and more, this exercise aimed to demonstrate solidarity, deterrence, and interoperability among allies in the face of rising tensions with Russia and China. The F-22 showcased its capabilities by flying in formation, conducting air refueling, and seamlessly exchanging data with other NATO assets. The F-22 Raptor's illustrious track record and its ability to overcome challenges underscore its position as a vital asset in modern aerial warfare and it remains at the forefront of advanced air combat capabilities. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, click on the screen to watch other videos like this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.